first thing we need to do before we start welding aluminium is to check the program. Every program will have a different synergic curve in the background of the machine pre-installed. For this program we are running 535 6 wire 1.2 millimeter diameter. We come down our list of programs, find the diameter we're looking for, we go across and it's program 55 and it's synergic pulse. We then come around to the front of the machine, press the arrow until the program light is illuminated. Currently it's showing program 33. Change that to 55 and you'll see it shows over this side here aluminium. Go back to your metal thickness by pressing the arrow. The next thing we need to do, check our background settings. Hold the arrow in. Starting at the beginning of the menu we have trigger function. Here we have 2T which is normal welding, pull the trigger, hold it in to weld, let go to finish welding. 4T which is a trigger lock function, pull the trigger to start, let it go, then click the trigger again to finish the weld. And then we have 3L which is an aluminium welding setting which you control your hot start and you control your crater fill which eliminates the need for preset times. Turn this dial, we have our start current, depending what thickness you are welding, you may have a start current of 140%, 145% or even 130%. If your start current was set at 130%, it's giving you 30% more amps in your hot start area. With aluminium it's difficult to get a puddle created because of the thermal transfer of heat. So we need to up the amps to get a puddle going, then it will switch into welding mode. We have our slope, this is where it changes from your hot start increase percentage to your welding amps. Instead of snapping from 130% back to 100%, it does a gradual slide back to your welding amps. Then we have our crater fill percentage. Currently this is set on 60%. This will drop your welding amps down to 60% of the amps that were being used for the weld. You can adjust this depending on your practice welds. If you are still being left with a crater at 60%, you could wind this down to 50%. The next one here is pre-gas. We need to have a bit of pre-gas to clean the weld zone before you start welding. This is set minimal at the moment. You can set this anywhere up to 2 to 3 seconds. If you have this set on too big a number, you'll pull the trigger and start wondering why no wire is coming out. Then we have our post gas at the end of the weld, which we need gas flowing across the molten puddle until it solidifies to protect it from the elements. Next one is burn back. That is currently set automatic. This is where the wire lands at the end of the tip when you stop welding. This is the length of the burn back where it ends on the end of the tip if you would like to put a particular length in there. So DP is dual pulse. Currently it is off which means we are working on a single pulse setting. Turn this dial. We now have dual pulse on. So this now opens a secondary set of background settings. We can now change the pulse frequency. Starts off at 0.1 and goes up to 5. This changes the frequency of the pulse, how many pulses per second. 1.5 will spread the pulses out. On thinner material you may want a faster pulse so it fills the weld zone quicker. Then we have our delta. This is the difference between the wire input for the high and low pulse. If you have a weld that's splattery you'll need to take some wire out of the low pulse. So by changing this 
you have a percentage difference between the high and low pulse and it will clean up your weld zone and mountain a lot better. A good percentage for your doubter would be sitting on two. The timing for dual pulse, how long it stays at high and how long it stays in low frequency. FAC is factory reset. If you're having trouble with your welding machine, can't seem to find a solution by changing settings, you can come in here. Currently it says nope. Gives you the option just to factory reset the program, PRG, or you can reset the whole machine back to factory settings. Always select program when you reset. Using the arrow, we come back to our main selection for our welding methods. The dial on the left is your metal thickness setting. The dial on the right is your arc length setting, currently showing voltage. Touch it and it adjusts your arc length. When you've finished your practice weld, always look at the screen and this will tell you what voltage you finished on. 17.2 to 17.5 is pretty much where you want to be when you finish your weld.